So from the current news that we have about Outbreak, about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, can we really determine if it's a good or a bad game? A W or an L? <sighs> from what I've been hearing online, it sounds like it's going to be a complete revamp or overhaul of Zombies. No round-based matchmaking. No... Well, pretty much no traditional zombies. There's just going to be... Which, again, I feel like is not what we asked for as a community, right? So, <clears throat> this this kind, of, this kind of goes back to that rock in a hard place argument. I think that there's always going to be some hate whenever Call of Duty tries to innovate. But at the same time, we're literally telling them exactly what we want and what we need in, in, a, in, a, in a video game. And I feel like that they just don't listen. That there's, They just don't care about what we're saying and they're just like yeah we, you know, we're gonna do what we want to do when we want to do it which is fine because again you shouldn't be listening to everything that the community says because a lot of the shit that we say is stupid but i think at the end of the day we like we did not ask for an overhauled what's what's the what's the term we as the covid community did not ask for a overhauled extraction shooter zombie shooter we, we didn't we didn't really ask for that now I, I i don't know how the zombies are going to react and how they're going to be in the game i have a feeling it's going to be very similar to outbreak and, and, and how outbreak was in cold war but <clears throat> at the same time it's like we didn't ask for that like outbreak was okay and i'm pretty sure that outbreak as a community we didn't really like i mean i might be wrong that might be something that i might be wrong about but I'm pretty confident in saying that most of us didn't really like Outbreak. I didn't see too many videos about Out Outbreak. And I played it a decent amount. It was fun. It was easy to train zombies. It was easy to kill zombies and not die. But it just... It, it was... It felt so forced, almost. Like, we asked for a transit re re remake. And we've been asking for a transit remake for how many games now? Probably like five or six, if not more. And they just give us everything but that. They'll just remake every map but that one. So I think that Outbreak was like their big breakthrough idea where they were like, yeah, they're going to love this shit. Like they, they want transit. This is what they're going to love. And it's like, well, there's no bus. There's nothing to take me around the map. I have to run around the map with like Marathon or uh, what was it called? Stand, stand them up. So it, it really just wasn't what we asked for. And I think that's the main root cause of why we are upset in, 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 in a lot of ways. But like, I, I also don't want to stunt their growth as far as, as far as innovation. But I always come back to the same point is we didn't ask for this. Like we did not, I, I in zombies, zombies having its own mode of like outbreak and DMZ. I've talked about this, having DMZ and then just having like an outbreak DMZ or mixing the two in some way is okay, right? Having a little bit of PvP and whatever else, that's fine. Having center point POIs of zombies and boss zombies and juggernaut boss zombies and stuff like stuff like that, like mini boss zombies and even like a big boss zombie at the end. You can have it PvP in there if you want to. I would prefer it to be out, so, which is also another feature that's coming to this new Modern Warfare 3 game outbreak game mode is you know, the ability to not have to not face other players. It's only PVE. So there's going to be a 24 players in the game, but there's going to be six squads of, of, uh, of, of four, <clears throat> which or sorry, four squads of six. I think that's what it is. Not, not the other way around. So essentially I don't, I do not think that they are listening to the community I think they're just doing whatever they want most of the time. And I think that's going to be their center of downfall. Like, I'm already not going to buy the game. I might buy it. It's a very, very slim chance. Very. And I, when I say slim, I mean, like, very slim. Very tiny chance that I'm going to buy this game because of zombies. And since there's no round-based matchmaking, it's like, what else are they going to do? Like, is it just going to be Outbreak and that's it? Is there going to be different game modes within Outbreak? Is there going to be like a lot of different stuff? Like that's the thing that I think they're missing in DMZ is like the ability to not just face other players. Like there's 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 really nothing else to do besides go do some contracts and like face off bots 
And that gets boring after a while. So that's why you're like trying to search out players to fight, you know? So it's like they have to really do something in this outbreak mode that actually makes it so that you're not just trying to seek other things to do. So there ha this outbreak mode in Modern Warfare 3 has to actually just like blanket us with different things to do. Which is which is I think the thing that they're going to be missing with this first iteration. And I as as I've said before, I enjoy DMZ. It's not bad, but the PVP aspect is annoying. I'm glad that they're bringing that they're taking it out out of zombies, but that would have been an interesting thing to see at, in the game. But again, I'm okay with them not doing P PVP. I'm so tired of just every game mode just getting fucking pounded in the mouth with with with, with PVP stuff. I I fucking hate PVP. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm not sorry. I really hate PVP. It's not that fun. It's, especially if you get into, especially if you get into a fight with somebody that's been playing the game a lot longer than you, so they have more shit than than you do. So they have better shit than than you do. That's that was the problem with with Tom Clancy all all all, all, all over again. Is that they they get they get all the cool shit, and then now it's like you got to just fucking fight him with like a gun with no fucking attachments on it. Meanwhile, they have like a shotgun with fire rounds and eight and eighteen attachments on it, and you're like, how am I supposed to beat that when it's a one hit kill? We, even though, like, I have my shotgun, it's like a, I, like, blast the dude in the head from two feet away and it doesn't do anything. You know, it just breaks plates. So that's, that's the struggle here. That's the struggle that we're, that we're finding, that I'm finding with, with, with DMZ or anything like it. Um, but you can always kill people. It's not, it's, there's no, really no 100% unfair versus fair. If you got better aim, obviously you're going to kill the guy with, with, with better loot if you have better aim. So there's that aspect of it. But I'm, I am tired of getting punched in the, in the mouth. With, with PvP on, on every game, game mode. It's like, can I just play a game mode that's not campaign on Call of Duty that has a PvE aspect and that's it? That, that was zombies for, for me, and I enjoyed that. Obviously, I could play with other people, or I used to play with other people a lot. That's really what I was... I would I would always be reviving everyone. Like, I had, like, 50 revives by the end of the game, um, you know, because people just suck. But, that you know, besides the point, you know, I just... I found it to be... I'm finding that the more and more research I do on this game and the more and more research I do on zombies, I'm just finding it that it's not going to be as fun as a lot of people are portraying it to be. And it's just it's just marketing flair. That's all it is. It's marketing flair. It's marketing words. Blah, 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 blah. New experience. You know, this is so cool. Whatever. Like, it's not really going to be cool. Like, I have to... We have to kind of accept that. I feel like that it may just be a huge L, but there might be aspects of it which is usually the case where it is a W. Like if they're doing the gear stuff and you can come in with Juggernaut or already, like if you if you have gear for perks and stuff like that, that might be interesting to see. Might be. That but again, I think there's going to be those little tiny aspects that are going to be Ws and then but overall the overarching game, the overarching game of Modern Warfare 3's outbreak is going to be a, is going to be an L. That's that's what that's what I feel like is going to happen. That's my professional opinion on this zombie game. It, that's just, that's what's going to happen. <clears throat> I just can't see them doing any, anything with it to make it last that long, especially if they have no round based zombies. You know, are, are the, is the pack a bunch good? Is the pack a bunch going to have those abilities still for the guns after you pack a bunch of them a couple times? How many times can, can you pack a bunch of the gun? You know, like these are all questions that need to be answered and we won't know that until the game's out. And it's like, a lot of people are just going to buy the game, get it, play it, and then realize that the game sucks. I think that's what happened a lot with Vanguard. And then people started making really shitty videos about it. Like, this is terrible zombies. Why did they do do, do this? And then and that's going to defer a lot of people from buying the game. So, I think I like that they're innovating. But I also hate that they're innovating. Because they're not listening to the to the, the community when they innovate. Now, what, 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 what might be interesting. What actually might bring back a lot of faith in the game is and they, they can, you guys can take this if, if you want if you guys are doing outbreak and you're pretty much revamping other maps so if you're you, so let's say you're taking notch and making a larger map and then that there were sprinkling stuff into there that might be a good thing like if you're taking um uh Dur Dur Duris, you know different maps and just bringing like and so so essentially what I'm comparing this to right is outbreak on Cold War. 
where they had the different maps that you teleport to. Now, if they have that ability again in the new game, in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, I think it'd be better if they started taking old Zombies maps, including Transit, and they just remake it, they revamp it, and they put it into the game, and you could teleport to each one of those maps uh, throughout your journey. So you're so that we're all visiting classic maps, and we're all visiting extremely fun things that we all, especially nostalgia in this case, we, we that we enjoyed. Now, I, I don't think they're going to do this, I, because why would they do that? That would make sense. Um, they've had little Easter eggs of, like, Notch and stuff like that in different maps. Uh, but, it, you know, it's just it's just, it's just, just not... It, it was just such a small sprinkle that something we didn't ask for. But, you know, Buried, like, they could, they could pretty much... They, they could go so far with this. I mean, they have so many zombie maps in the old zombie games that it's like they could make, what, 20, 30 maps different? Different 20 or 30 maps with, like, those specific POIs on them. Have, like, each POI in each one of the maps, essentially. That would be that would be killer. That would be awesome. And then they could expand it. Put, like, different other POIs there that aren't as important. You know, but, like, put, you know, the factory. Put, like, different Easter eggs in there. It's it's something to think about because I don't think they're gonna do that, but that that would be something that that they should do. And and I've already said this many, many times. If they made a zombie game, a zombie game with a campaign with an outbreak zombies with round based, they could sell that for sixty five dollars and people would buy it, one hundred percent. And then what they could do is instead of selling, which they probably would never sell, they I, I'm, I'm I'm gonna be honest with, with you, I've said this already. You know what? I don't even know if I said this. Zombies has carried the Black Ops franchise. That's just fact. If they made an independent Zombies game using Black Ops Zombies and possibly even other Zombies too, they would never sell a Call of Duty game. If they sold an independent Zombies game and they just kept on adding to it and didn't give us a new Zombies game every year for like a new map or two and they just kept the game alive... That would outpace all of their other stuff. I guarantee you that would be their biggest moneymaker. People love zombies. People love the PvP. People love the PvE. But the thing is, is that if they could sprinkle it into a zombies game where they have a PvE mode, they have another PvE mode, like a campaign, they, they have a zombie survival, they have an outbreak mode, and then they have like a PvP mode with some PvE sprink sprinkled in, that would be the best game that they'll ever make. And I can guarantee you that would be a billion dollar now, just that product would be a billion dollar investment for for the, for the, for them easily. That's the that's the truth, right? There. That is pretty much all I have to say on that one. Like that that would be a billion dollar investment, especially for all the zombies nerds out there, including myself, because we've been asking for a zombies game for I don't know how long now, but they just haven't done it. So, I can I can I be. Can I say this with confidence that zombie this this zombies will be a huge L. I know we should probably wait until the game comes out, which I'm going to actually wait to just either buy or not buy until the game comes out so I can actually see some gameplay on zombies. I I want to see the gameplay on the zombies. I want to see what modes are in there and then, then I will determine whether I want to buy it. But I'm going to be honest with, with you, I might be buying GTA 6 before I buy Modern Warfare 3 or or any other Call of Duty game. Probably the next 10 years. 